In this problem, we have a board that is 131 inches long and it's cut into two pieces. And then it says one piece is 14 inches longer than twice the other. This is one of those problems where you might want to actually draw a little bit of a diagram to kind of see what's going on. Maybe it'll help you understand things a little bit better. This doesn't need to be perfect. Um, and we're just, it's, just a, it's just a board, all right? And you're cutting it into two pieces. Now, does it say two equal pieces? No, so if you cut it right down the middle, that would mean that the pieces would be equal length, but it doesn't sound that way by the way the rest of this is being written. So let's just say we're cutting it right here. We have two pieces, but I don't want you to use two variables. What you're going to find out a lot of times in these word problems is that you have one thing that you know nothing about, <coughs> and the other piece is built off of that. Okay. Like if I were to pick on you again, Crystal, if I say you had $10 more than me, you don't know how much either one of us has, do you? Mm -hmm. But if you knew how much I had, you could find yours, right? So I'm the one we know nothing about. Okay. In this one, what's the piece we know nothing about? The short piece or the long piece? We know nothing about the short piece. We know the long piece, though, is related to it by being 14 inches longer than twice that guy. So if I were to designate this short piece as x. And I'm actually going to define the variable precisely and say let x equal. Can I say that x equals the short piece? Sure. Sure. Oh, sure. Why not? <laughs> Gosh. No, x is not the short piece. It's not the actual physical construction of the short piece. What is it about the short piece that x is representing? We don't know how much longer it is. The length of it, right? <laughs> yeah. So x is the length of the short piece. <laughs> Why is that the length of the short? Is that that's funny? So it's the middle of summer, and you guys get your kicks by coming to a math class. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty much, huh? All right, so x is the length of the short piece. How would you represent the length of the longer piece? Look what it says right here. What would you say? 14x. 14x. No. Hold on. It's, does it say one piece is 14 inches long? Two 14 inches longer than twice the other. When you see longer than, that's the same as the phrase we had the other day, more than, right? Mm -hmm. So it's 14 inches more than. That means I'm doing addition of 14 at the end. What am I adding 14 to? So it would be x plus, oh, sorry, x plus x plus 14. Hold on. It's 14 inches more than what? twice the other guy. So how would I represent twice the other guy? 2x. Two I'd represent it by saying 2x. Now what am I going to do with the x and the 2x plus 14? I think, Greg, you're on the way of saying something. Now it's going to be x plus 2x plus 14 equals 131. Right, and what you see in this problem, what you can see in a lot of problems, is that you have a bunch of different pieces, but you know their whole amount or their total, right? So you can say that basically the you've got the short piece and the long piece together is equal to the you know the, the total board, right? We're going to neglect that you know eighth or quarter inch of the you know the cut, right? That's it. It's negligible. So how do I represent the short piece? X. How do you represent the length of the long piece? And when their powers combine, I have 131. Don't, don't go change the numbers on me. It's 131. All right. So this is an equation that I know how to solve. But before I really get into solving, what should I do first? Combine like terms. And when I do that, I get what? 3x plus 14 equals 131. Subtra I mean, once we get to this part of the problem solving process, it shouldn't be holding us back anymore. So 3x equals what? Are you asking or are you saying? You say it. If you're going to say it, you say 117. When you're asking, you say 117? <laughs> All right. So. 3x equals 117. Yeah. 
There you go asking again. Are you saying or are you asking? Yeah, okay, so we said x equals 39. Do you all agree with that? Yep. What does this mean in the problem? Well, hold on. What does x equals 39 mean in the problem? That's one, yes. one length of the... Uh, that's the length of the short piece, right? So we could, you know, let's go ahead and say that. We can say that the length of the short piece because it's asking, if you look up back up here in the original problem, how long is each piece? All right, well, I've got to make some kind of statement about the long and the short pieces. So the short piece is 39, right? Inches. Thank you. In yeah. Inches are important. We have to make sure we get our units in here. The short piece is 39 inches. And the long piece is now what you said, Boris, you said subtract 39 from the 131, right? Yeah. We can do that, but if we do 131 minus 39, what do you get? You get 92. Now that should be the same as me plugging it in up here where I have this long piece designated to be 2x plus 14, right? So if I do 2 times 39 plus 14, that's 78 plus 14. And I still get 92, right? It better be the same. It has to be the same. So the short piece is 39 inches and the long piece is 92 inches.